level five protocols basically are tighter. You know, every uh, we've obviously segregation uh, to allow the two meter distancing. So we're using porta cabins that were traditionally the media center and, 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 and sort of areas we'd feed the teams. They're now the away team dressing rooms. You know, that allows them to have the space. Uh, and we're sharing the two dressing rooms we normally have for the first team. So that's the first thing that hits the teams. You know, they're, they're in different spaces. They're coming through different doors, they're going onto the pitches in separate entrances, so the usual parades with the flags and the ball boys and all that, that's all gone. Um, and then just even down to the dugouts, you know, you have four or five people in a dugout and you now have the players sitting in, in our case, seats with a green label on it. So we have, I think, about 2,700 seats at the moment and we have 585 green labels on those. So that's where we are with two metre distancing. And, and, and then you have the temperature checks. Then you have the online registration, anybody comes into the ground. So there's been a lot of extra work, you know, and we're primarily a voluntary based club at, at, at present. So it just puts huge pressure on people to, to get us to the standard we need to go. But touch wood, it's worked out well in Bray. Four times at Cork, as well as many two FAI Cups and three President Cups. It would have been a shame if the games went ahead, no fans and no streaming service. And League of Ireland obviously weren't interested in the First Division. So First Division clubs had to do their own thing. It's spreading the game and it's spreading the name of Bray Wanderers all over the place, which is fabulous. But financially, yeah, we're running on thin air like everybody else. So we get to the end of the season like everybody else and sort of see, well, what has been the damage financially? The FAI have sort of helped a little bit in fairness to them, you know, but not to the level of revenue students we would have got. But um, I'd be more worried about next season, to be honest, whether we stay in the first division or whether we end up in the Premier, I think it is going to be um, I think it's going to be down to government whether sports survive in this country for the next 12 months because I think we're planning at the moment that there won't be crowds for 2021 of any significance so you know there's 15,000 every home game gone out of your budget it's hard to replace that Crossbar, Abuzainu, coming down the right, and he's in there again, and the ball's in the back of the net. Abuzainu. It's great, you know what I mean? I'm delighted, um, you know what I mean? Great, great uh, attitude amongst the lads, and uh, you know, call we a good club, but uh, they need to try and get up the table and uh, see can we get over the first division, which is always difficult. But uh, you know, there's, you know, I'm a League of Ireland man. I love the League of Ireland. Brilliant going around to the grounds, but certainly you miss the supporters, you miss the crack, and uh, maybe a bit of stick that you get at times. But it's, it's great. So um, you know, but hopefully for next season we we'll get we we'll get back to that, you know.